what's going on beautiful people thank you guys for tuning in for watching for having to put up with my bullshit <laughs> so in this video we're gonna talk about technology addiction right somebody left me in the comment hey bro you know I think I'm way too addicted to technology help me please help me oh Lord Jesus help me and my friend you're not the only one who's addicted to technology you are in the vast majority okay you are in the vast majority are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me walk into a bus and watch people guarantee you guarantee you like i can i can just say this with guarantee right more than 50% of people, so more than one in two people, have their heads buried in some kind of a screen. Walk into anybody's room, at, you know, just random. Do random selection, right? Just random fucking selection. All right, guys, we're breaking in into 100,000 rooms to stay, you know, to see what people are up to. I know it's invasion of privacy, but let's just pretend here. We're in that, let's make pretend. Probably more than 50,000, so more than 50% are going to be buried in some kind of a screen. And the people who are lucky are going to be having sex. But more than probably, this is my estimation, right? This is my estimation. Probably more than 50% of the people, when you do that, pew, walk into them in their room without them knowing and just, what are you up to right now? More than 50,000, probably more, than, so more than 50%, will probably have their heads buried in some kind of a screen. Now, you know, it could be you're doing good work. It could be doing you're just wasting time. It could be, I don't know. It could be anything, bro, really. It could be you writing some fucking book that's going to change the world. It could be you talking to a fucking camera here, just bullshitting and rambling about shit. Like me, I'm looking up. My head is in the screen right now, right? So I'm, I'm part of this thing. I'm not, I'm part of it. I'm you. I'm part of it right but it seems that you know most people these days have their heads buried in a screen for better or worse we're not making a judgment here we're not judging if it's a good thing we're not judging if it's a bad thing for better or for worse this seems to be an objective observation so what do we do about that first of all is it good or is it bad the answer is it's neither it's neither. It's neither. Okay? It is absolutely neither. It's a tool, my friends. Technology is a tool. It is a tool for us to use. And if you can start to look at technology in your life as a tool, then you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll have your head buried in a screen when it needs to be buried in a screen and you'll have it immersed in the beautiful world the other times it's a tool now what is happening to a lot of people is their reality their living reality on a screen now which is kind of scary a little bit because you're living a reality on the screen You've abandoned your body, you've neglected your body, you've neglected this thing that's happening here, this reality, right? I mean, you know, reality is subjective, you guys know how much I love to ramble about you creating your own subjective reality tunnel, but you have this body and you can go ahead and create any reality tunnel you want. Now, the reality tunnel you're creating when you're addicted to technology is my reality tunnel is I live through a screen. I live through a technology. I live through other people's experience and not my own experience. Because really, if you're constantly watching something or your 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 head is buried in some kind of a, a a screen, you're more than likely, you know, again, some people, they're writing books and they're doing things. So, But a lot of people, right? They, we're talking about the average Joe here. When they have their head buried in a screen, 
they're either building someone else's dream, so you working an office job that you fucking dislike, right? So now you're building someone else's dream and you have your head buried in that, in that screen and that's the reality you're creating now. So you're spending, your reality is I sit behind the screen, I bury my head in a screen to create someone else's dream. And then, you know, people watch all kinds of things, all kinds of shows, all kinds of things, right? And a lot of people are addicted to that, right? They're watch, constantly watching shows, blah, 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 right? And now you're living re reality through someone else's experience on that TV show. Why don't you go out there and then create your own reality and live reality through you and become a character? Become a character yourself. Become an interesting character yourself. <sighs> so, to bring the rant back in here again, back off tangents, technology is a tool. I look at technology in my life as a tool to spread, to corrupt the minds of the youth by making these videos right to make you question authority to make you question your being to make you question who you are to make you realize your own power and take that own power back and stand for yourself that's what i use technology for i like to use it to do that to spread that kind of message around that kind of vibe that kind of positive vibe to use cyberspace the cyberspace technology to create a new world to create a new world based on different values than the world we have created right now values like love values like unity values like oneness values like togetherness values like cooperation and i use it and you know what i made a video go check it out it's called god bless the internet the internet saved my life Okay, I had nobody to inspire me all growing up. The internet inspired me. People who I found on the internet inspired me. I love the internet. So, I love technology, therefore, right? Because I love the internet. I couldn't do what I'm doing right now. And I'm building a career off of this, guys, mind you. You know, I'm building a business structure around it right now. You know, I'm writing books. I'm making courses. You know, it's going to go on. I'm, it's all work in the process. I am literally using technology... I am using the cyberspace to inspire other people, to bring out this message, and to create a new world, to help create a new world. This is the way I like to use technology. And I've used and still use technology to corrupt my mind in my own way. When I say corrupt my mind, I'm talking about you being a badly behaved citizen and questioning everything, right? So... I've used it. I still use it. You know, I'm always listening to podcasts. Joe Rogan podcast, Duncan Trussell podcast, Tangentially Speaking podcast, Chris Ryan, my man. I love Chris Ryan. I love all these guys. And I'm always listening to these podcasts to get these new ideas and, 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 and build on those new ideas and, and contribute to the creation of this new vibe, of this new world. And to empower myself and improve myself. So if you can look at technology as a tool to improve yourself, to improve your existence, and therefore, if you improve your existence, you improve the existence of those around you, and everybody's happier, right? Everybody's happier. So that's it, really. I'm not going to go on any longer on this, on this rant. Use it as a tool because it is a tool. It's neither good nor bad restrain yourself from using it when you don't need to use it when i'm out in nature besides when i'm making videos this is my last video making today i'm going after this to hit pause or whatever i'm going to put this phone in my pocket and that phone is not going to see any light for another couple of hours honestly i'm going to just chill here probably it's not just it's not going to that's it that's gone okay be diligent, watch yourself, use it as a tool. It's incredible, it's amazing. I love it, I couldn't live without it. My entire livelihood depends on it now, right? Use it as a tool, and that's it. God bless you all, guys. I love you, I love every single one of you, but don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna sleep with the fishes.